Hello everyone, this is Amanda with Big Empress Energy. I am here to do a singles love reading for all those concerned with Libra. So Libra could be your sun, moon, or rising signs, your Venus could be in Libra, or just any other important placement in your chart. Um, and if this reading resonates with you, please like and comment, claim the reading. Um, and if you like the way that I read, please subscribe to my channel. I have a very small channel, so every subscription, every interaction makes a huge difference. Oof. Okay, abandoned. Left. Walked away. Cold. Okay, Libra. Um, let me see. Bottom of the deck. Silence. Wow, this came out in your last love reading, and I cleanse the decks and meditated. Um, okay, I'll link that at the end. Um, I think somebody went cold on you, Libra. Um, I think they went silent, like frozen and cold here. I think they um, put on a mask and were not up front with you for one reason or another. And I think they left you hanging, like left you wondering what it was about. Um, you might have some indication, but I, I get that I think a lot of you are just very confused as to why this happened. What else can you tell me about my single Libras, please? What else can you tell me about my single Libras? Woo! What else can you tell me about my... Okay. Pride. Yes! I was getting this in the last reading. Um, this person is really stubborn. Uh, they're very resistant to change. I get that their ego kind of stops them from expressing how they feel, and they put that mask on, the ego mask. Um, very, like, emperor-reversed energy, you know? Um, like, stoic and, um, yeah, just refusing to discuss how they feel, even though it's affecting them deeply. Um, oh, yes, that's what I'm saying. It's affecting them deeply, and I think it's affecting you deeply, Libra. I think this person's inability to communicate, or the fact that they just went cold, some of you, they might even ghosted you, they might have even ghosted you, um, I, I feel like it's, it's hurting everyone involved. What else, please, for my single Libras? What else can you tell me about what's going on with my single Libras? What else can you tell me about what's going on with my single Libras? bitterness. Ugh. Okay. Um, this, what happened in this previous connection, Libra? Um, I think this person was egotistical. Um, I don't necessarily know if they meant to hurt you, but I think that they did hurt you. Um, I think that there was probably a fight of some kind that was a catalyst to, to them going cold. Um, and I think they're the type of person that the first sign of conflict, they shut down. Um, and Libra, I, I get that, you know, they might have walked away too, but I get that you are now walking away from this as well. You realize that this is not fulfilling you in the way that you need, and until this person can drop the ego, drop the mask, um, you're going to be moving on to better things, or just releasing it to the universe, so to speak. Um, second chance. Yep, this is definitely the same energy as the last one. I'm taking this. Very well could be a twin flame. Uh, when I first started, when I shuffled and meditated over the cards, I did take note that the bottom of the deck, of this deck, was the twin flame card. Um, so this could be, uh, you could be the runner, Libra, but more so what I'm getting here is that we're picking up on the energy of the runner, uh, I think, I think they're toxic. Um, I, I do, th I mean, in the last reading, which I will link at the end, I did get that they want to heal, that they are loyal to you. They only want you, but they have to figure out how to drop this mask first. They have to heal that aspect of themselves first. I picked up on an energy of them, uh, in arguments, like, like they, they approach life as if it's a battle. Um, that they, um, that there's always a winner in fights, even in love, which is just not true. Um, and if we approach communication in love that way, it's very toxic and it's very unhealthy and it doesn't help anyone. It's not beneficial in any way, but I think that's all this person really knows. Um, they, and like I said, they're very stubborn. 
Um, but they have recognized the mistakes that they made. That was made clear in the last reading. And they are coming back. They want to reconcile with you. Um, now, Libra, you might be over this person. You might be done with this person. And that's totally okay. You do not have to take this person back. You have free will. Um, and I even get that you might still be quite angry at what they did, how they treated you. Um, they did not treat you like the high quality, high vibrational partner that you are, Libra. Um, but this person does want to come back and at least try to do things differently. What else can you tell me about my single Libras? Woo! Confession! This came out in the last one, too. They're gonna take the mask off. Like, with this unveiling... It tells me that that they're taking the mask off. Uh, the, the, they're going to let the ego down. Like, they're going to let that wall down. Um, I get that this person... I mean, for some of you, they might have actually lied or betrayed your trust in some way. I think for a lot of you, it might be that. But more than anything, I'm getting that this person puts a mask on and is deceptive regarding their feelings. Like, they do not open up about how they're feeling. And in the last reading, it was like... Obs like it was obscenely <laughs> I was obscenely um it was insanely obvious that um this person is deeply in love with you Libra um but they have that mentality that they would you know when it comes to fights or disagreements they would rather be right they would rather stonewall you and go silent they'd rather be right than be happy um, but they are now realizing that without you, they aren't happy, and they wouldn't rather be right than be happy, which everybody who is in that energy eventually breaks because that's incredibly unhealthy and it's not sustainable uh, in love. Heirs return. Yep. Um, yeah, this person's coming back for sure. I'm taking it. Look, look at the pain that they're in. God. They've done this to themselves, too. Like, it's not just them that's in pain, Libra. They hurt you. They, they, they betrayed you in a sense. I mean, for some of you, they might have actually betrayed you. But what I'm picking up on is this person, like, went cold. They shut down when you had issues. Um, and you needed them to fight for the connection. And they shut down. Um... And that's that ego, that's them just being stubborn, uh, refusing to admit their mistakes. But they are in a very different energy now. If you look at like what's showing up in the bottom row, they are in a very different mindset now. Um, the ego is dropping, the mask is dropping, they're letting the bitterness go. Um, and they want to come back and make it right. And it's that pain that's really the catalyst for this. What else, please, for my single Libras? Guardian angels. What else, please, for my... Woo! There's that mask. I'm not taking all of these. I'm taking these because, of course... Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to give you the messages. <laughs> yeah, this person is kind of an emotional wreck. This came out in the last reading, too. They're like an emotional wreck without you. Both of these came out in the last reading as well. Swear to God, I cleansed this deck. Um... They're very resistant to change, and they suppress how they feel. They think it makes them appear stronger. That's that ego. But really, it's just damaging them. It's damaging you. It's damaging the connection. And it makes them weaker. Um, and I think they are starting to realize that. They, they have um, grown a little bit since they were like this with you, Libra. Um, yeah. The mask is dropping. Now, for some of you, um, they actually did lie. Like, maybe they put you in a third-party situation. Maybe they lied about making changes that they never made or never intended on making. It could be a million things. Um, and for some of you, they might have literally lied. But for others of you, I get that they were just very deceptive when it came to how they feel. They suppress their feelings. Um, they pretend like they don't feel as deeply as they do for you. Um, and, and they're hitting a breaking point with that. Now, um, for some of you, it could be uh, 
substances with addiction here. This person could have lied about an addiction to a substance or stopping a substance. That is not going to resonate with all of you. More than anything, I think this person is just very fixated on you. We have secret admirer here. Um, they're very fixated on you. They're obsessing over the mistakes that they made and wanting to make changes. And that's okay as long as they're willing to back that up with actual growth. Um, now, this came out in the last reading as well. They know, they feel as though you are their soulmate, um, Libra. They don't want anyone else. Like, in the last reading, it was only you. Like, I think I even titled it that. Um, I'll, I'll link it at the end. But, um, yeah, they want to reunite with you. They want to reconcile. You are the only person they want to be with. And they realize now that going cold and holding back how they feel was a huge mistake. And, and foolish, honestly. Um, so this person, I mean, they, they want a strong foundation with you, Libra. Um, I do pick up on that. You could have a family with this person, or this person could have children of their own. That's not going to resonate with all of you. But in the last reading, I was picking up the energy of a tower moment going on in this person's life. And a tower moment comes from a false foundation. Like, um, even if we don't realize it, like sometimes connections are built on a faulty foundation, like something that wasn't made to last. Um, and it's not really anybody's fault sometimes. Sometimes it's just, um, you know, the two people weren't prepared, I guess, so to speak. They hadn't learned the lessons that they needed to start the connection out on a strong foundation. But what I do see now is that this person is much more established. They want a strong foundation with you now, and they're, they recognize where they went wrong. For what it's worth, Libra, again, you don't have to take this person back. I think they're stubborn. I think they're egotistical. But I do think their heart is in the right place now, and I do think they love you. Um, I, I know they love you. Uh, so... Do what you will with that information. And this is all just a huge, like, wake-up call for this person. Like, look at the bottom of the deck here. Or, not at the bottom of the deck, sorry. The bottom row here. This person, I mean, we have all of the cards that I use to represent coming back from this deck. They are coming back. They're going to come back and they're going to actually be honest. Like, they realize now they've had an epiphany as far as this connection goes. They realize that there is a deeper purpose to this connection to the two of you this isn't like one of the shallow connections that they've experienced before um no this is a lot deeper this is like a soul tie connection and although they've been suppressing that feeling and they've been resisting the change that it takes to really drop this mask drop this ego let this resentment go um they have come around now and they they're waking up to um, the changes they actually need to make. And they want to share that with you. They want to let you know that they're sorry. They want to tell you, you know, that they're going to be different, that they are actively making changes. Um, I don't know if they've come forward just yet, but literally this entire row is about them coming forward or having the urge to come forward and express that to you, Libra. So just buckle up for that because they are, they're coming forward. They are returning. Um, yes, this person is an emotional wreck. And with Storm here, again, like my guides are pointing that out to me, it's like an indication that this person has, this has been a big tower moment for this person. And I get that it's been in other aspects of their life too, Libra. Like it's not just love, their love life or their connection with you that's been a tower. Um, although that has been a tower moment for them. It's caused them to realign with their path and to wake up to the growth and the changes that they need to make um, and, and what they truly want with you. Um, but they are deeply affected and they're, they're hiding it behind this mask or they have been up until now, but they are deeply affected by their separation from you, whether that be emotional or it genuinely be a no contact situation, or you actually are at a physical distance. It'll be different for all of you and you'll know which one resonates with your situation better. But yeah, this person pretends like it doesn't affect them and they are so deeply in love with you. Of course, this turmoil and this, uh, conflict in your connection is affecting them deeply. And it doesn't make them weak to experience that. We all love, you know, we all love. Um, we all have feelings. But this person is 
coming around and learning that. Um, yeah, they're healing. Look at this. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. This person, I do think, is working on this. They are, they're, like I said, they're, they're realizing, um, the, the issues that they have, like deep seated issues. Like I see it coming, uh, going all the way back to childhood. Like I see this person having only seen, um, bitter, bitter fights between people who claim to love one another and, and hiding feelings and doing things purely out of ego, like being really stubborn. I think they think it makes you appear stronger and it doesn't, it doesn't. Resisting feelings, resisting change does not make you stronger. And this person is realizing that now. And again, I do think this is a twin flame or a soulmate or a soul tie connection. I see the divine here working to bring your two cups of love together. Um, it's all happening in divine timing. I do see that. What else can you tell me about my single Libras at this time? And Libra, again, I see that you're working to heal as well. Yes. This person very well could have betrayed you, Libra. They, they definitely lied, whether that be just about their feelings or about a lot of other things. They definitely lied, and Libra, I think you've accepted the end here. You've released it to the universe, and you've said, this was bad the way that it was. I don't have control in this situation. I'm just going to let it go, you know, and, and you've let your angels take over. Um, but this person, I think, is only just now coming to the realization that it's over, over. Because I think they've been, like, stonewalling you or, like, waiting for you to uh, say that everything they did was right and everything that you did was wrong. And that's all ego. That's all ego, Libra. Um, oh, yeah. They really could have lied to you. They very well could have betrayed your trust. Oh, my God. You could be dealing with the Gemini. That's going on soulmates. Yes, and there's that, there's that, that I was picking up on, that like, oh wow. This person could have depression, anxiety, mental illness of some kind. This person likes control. This is Cancer and Pisces, by the way. This person likes control, um, and I think the fear of the unknown and feeling out of control in their connection with you scared them, and I think their ego is too big and too prevalent to to acknowledge how much it scared them and they ran away and they tried, I get that they, you know, in these arguments, they really hurt you. And I don't think they were willing to own up to it. I think they tried to skirt responsibility. Like I said, I think, I think when they're in this prideful, arrogant energy, I think they expect you to come back and apologize and admit that everything that, um, they did was right. And everything that you did was wrong. Um, but that's so false. That's such an illusion. That's not it at all. Um, and that's not the way that, <laughs> that this is going to play out. Um, and for some of you, this person really could have put you in a third party situation. They really could have misled you one way or another. I do get that they lied about their feelings, no matter what, uh, for all of you. I get that this person was not forthcoming with their feelings and they wore a mask. Um, and I get that this person enjoys... Um, Someone that I really enjoy <laughs> used this phrase, and I'm going to use it now. Um, he said um, he enjoys a good verbal sparring match. <laughs> and I love that so much because it's such a funny way of saying, like, I love to debate. Like, I love to, like, get into it and fight. Um, and, and, you know, he's a very pleasant person, so he doesn't mean it in, like, a, like I love to fight people. But I do see that this person also enjoys a good verbal sparring match, Libra. Um, I think they like to win. And th a lot of that is ego. Like, so much of that is ego. But I think it uh, ultimately caused this tower moment between the two of you. I think it ultimately, like, caused your connection to crumble in a lot of ways. Um, but this person is, they, they love you so deeply. They think that you're their soulmate, that you're the one for them. Again, I'm going to link that reading, my last reading, because it's like that one really got into where they're at now. Like they love you so much. And now they're in so much pain because they're separated from someone that they love that much. Um, but I think you really perceived it as them betraying you or stabbing you in the back, Libra. Um, 
and they thought it was, you know, at least, at least on, like, just, like, small arguments, they thought it was all in good fun, like, I'm gonna win, like, I, I, I do think that, you know, things got personal, I, I don't think that they thought fighting with you was fun, but I think that this person does enjoy a good verbal sparring match, and I think that this person does like challenging others, and challenging others' points of view, um, and I think, you know, that ended up in a lot of conflict for the two of you. Um, but yeah, this person does not like not being in control. And that's also very egotistical. You know, we don't all have control. There are things in this life that we are never going to have control over and that we're never going to know. Look at that. Look at how much pain they're in now. Look at all these swords. This person is so in their head. They know that they messed up, man. And at night, that's when they feel it like the worst. They are like, I lost the love of my life because I'm stupid, because I am stubborn and arrogant, and I don't know if they're ever going to take me back. Um, wow, yes. I just saw what's underneath it. Oh my God, Libra, this is coming in front and center. Oh, look, there you are, Libra. They want to come in and make this right quick. They want to come in and make this right. Um, yeah, so we have Gemini, Aries, Libra and Taurus, and then Libra. So you could definitely be dealing with another Libra. Um, what I'm getting here, because this person is so stubborn and egotistical, I'm getting that they are... <laughs> No shade to men, but I'm getting that they are in their divine masculine energy. And that's any gender. We all have a divine feminine and a divine masculine, but I am getting that this person is in that stubborn, uh, egotistical, divine masculine energy. Almost like an emperor reversed, to be honest, but that's where they're coming from. They're stepping into the, the emperor up right now. They are, they're owning up to the mistakes that they made. They've grown wise after this kind of a falling out. Um, and they are realizing that you are the divine feminine. Again, any gender does not, not gender specific. It's just energy. And we all have a divine feminine and a divine masculine. And this person is now stepping up into that energy to try to make this right for you, Libra. They, they have to win you back. They have to win you back. Um, yeah. They know, they know that they messed up. Now, you don't have to take this person back, Libra. I get that they messed up pretty dang bad. Um, I get that it was more than just a verbal sparring match. Um, this person probably said things they can't ever take back. This person, uh, might have said things purely to hurt you. Um, and, and I think that it felt like a betrayal or it literally was a betrayal. It's going to be different for all of you. Um, but at the very least, this person recognizes now the, the person that they have to be to match you, Libra, to come in and, and make it right if you let them. Um, but they want to come in quick and they are going to come in quick with communication. I mean, I had all of those cards that represent them coming back. So just, just prepare yourself, Libra. Wow. Okay, that's too many, but I'm going to take them. Oh my god, look at how much they miss you. This is a card of like a past life soulmate. Um, it's a card of nostalgia. They miss you so bad, Libra. This is very interesting. We have, um, yeah, we have six, six, um, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. I'm just, if I had to interpret the meaning of those numbers going up like that, I would say that it's this person like progressing in life and growing and realizing the person that they need to grow into if they ever want another shot with you, Libra. Um, but holy moly, do they miss you? Like you are on their mind constantly. Um, they're scared that you have other options in love. They're scared that you're going to move on from them. Um, yeah, they're, they're scared that you're not, this is also coming through. They're scared that you're not going to believe them 
when they do come through and they do offer you the cup of love that they have to offer you. Um, they're scared that you're not going to believe them. And I would say you have, that's valid, Libra. I would say you have a reason not to believe them. I think they have been very misleading in one way or another. You know which way resonates for your situation. But they're scared that you're just never going to be able to trust them again, I think, is, is what I'm getting here. Um, but what I will say, Libra, is that this person is coming in in a much more trustworthy energy. They have stepped up into a divine energy. And this is a divinely guided connection. So there are angels working to bring you two together. There are angels working to heal you separately. Um, and at the very least, this person is meant to come back and apologize um, to you, Libra, because they hurt you when you did not deserve it. Um, yeah, they, they block themselves off emotionally. You have seven, 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 six, six, nine, nine. You two are mirroring each other. This very well could be a twin flame. We got twin flame stuff happening here. Um, the fact that you both are healing in separation, also very, um, uh, typical with a twin flame connection, right in line with the twin flame journey. But this person uh, blocked you off emotionally. They might have even ghosted you or actually blocked you, like your phone number or socials. They deeply regret it now. Um, or you might have blocked this person, Libra. Um, but this person is going to come back and they do want to make it right for what it's worth. Um, you don't have to take them back, Libra. I will say that. Um, I've been working on myself and I'm not the same as before. Can I have a couple of messages from this person to my single Libras? Guys, angels telling me that's it. I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Yeah, this person definitely took you for granted, Libra. They took the connection for granted. They did not treat you like the high quality, high vibrational partner you were. You're a divine counterpart to this person. And they treated it like it was just any other shallow connection they've ever had. I can't go another day without you. That's them returning, Libra. I t like, we had all those cards of them returning with an apology. They're coming back, I assure you. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't be what you needed me to be. This person is very apologetic. I mean, they said, I'm sorry twice. I underestimated how important you are in my life. Wow. Yeah, they did. They pretended like you were not a soulmate or a twin flame when they knew you were. Um, and if they were a twin flame, they are the runner and they tried to run away and their ego got in the way. But they have done the healing now for what it's worth, Libra. I fantasize about you. OK. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, one more message, please, for my single Libras. Whoa. I was selfish and stuck in my ego. Oh my God. With the ego. Yeah. Okay, Libra. Let's look at the bottom of the deck one more time. I'm afraid that I lost you forever. They're telling me to look underneath that too. I'm holding on to memories of us. I'm sorry. I couldn't be what you needed me to be. All right, Libra. This person is apologetic. Uh, you don't have to take them back if you don't want to, but there's a soul tie here. And I do see that there's divine workings to make sure that this person does come back and at the very least apologize. So that's going to happen. Um, your angels are working for that. Um, but anyways, Libra, if this resonated with you, please like and comment, claim the reading. Um, Tarot's like language, and we all have our different ways of reading. Um, and if you like my language and you like how I read, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I upload readings like this every day, and it just means so much to me for all my subscribers, all the people that view my videos, all the people that interact. It means the world to me. Um, and if you'd like a personal reading with me or you just have some questions about it, um, I'll put my email in the description box below. I'd love to speak with you. Um, and anyways, Libra, I love you and I will see you in the next one.